When I was a child, I was Olivier Biraro. I will tell you how I became Sangara Kita. I was born in 1981 in Rwanda, a tiny country in the heart of Africa. A civil war broke out in the country. It culminated in the 1994 genocide. I began to practice martial arts with a name to take revenge someday. Every session of karate practice began with Zen Buddhist technique of mindful breathing. Through meditation, my anger, sadness and hatred slowly subsided. I wanted other people to feel the same kind of freedom. I became a target of some born-again Christians who defined meditation as satanic practice. One day, they imprisoned me in Communicado for 42 days. After my release from prison, my path became clear. Sometime in the future, I would become a monk. I found the Uganda Buddhist Center. It's time for me to leave it and to start a new journey. I'm Jen Lindsay, the director of Mind and Shadows. I've dedicated the last seven and a half years of my life to telling Sangarakita's story because his message inspires me so profoundly. I met him in 2016 at a conference on interreligious dialogue. And when I heard his story, full of messages about perseverance, forgiveness, and finding peace by facing suffering with courage, I knew immediately it needed to be shared. So the Minding Shadows project was born. He teaches us to face our shadows, to turn toward ourselves and others in the times that we need it most. Minding Shadows won a production grant this spring to finish filming this incredible story. So we traveled to Germany, where our protagonist now lives and is making plans for a mindfulness center in his homeland, Rwanda, to promote continued healing. So far, we've raised $14,100 for Minding Shadows, but it will take $40,000 more to complete this inspirational project. We need to pay for sound editing, color correction, post-production staff, legal counsel, and insurance. We also have to pay to enter film festival competitions and, if selected, to travel to our own premiere. Today I'm inviting you to help make something profound and impactful. This isn't about me or even about my friend Sangha. Crowdfunding is about all of us pitching in to spread a freeing and transformative message. The whole crowd decides to realize a dream together. If you want to find out how my friend Sangha's life has continued to astound me, you'll need to hear the full story. But in order to complete it, we need your help. Mm -hmm.